This is Hollywood. Your pal Matthias Bohm-Bell with you. There are those moments that occur once every decade or so when a movie takes you completely by surprise. This just happened to me at a screening I attended of the new Weinstein Company release, The Grand Master. Thinking this was a movie about the many styles of kung fu, I was not prepared for the ensuing epic story of stunning beauty that unfolded before my eyes. I had not expected the sweeping dramatic arc of a life story of a man against a setting that rivals the grandeur of David Lean's Dr. Zhivago. This movie is in Chinese with English subtitles and relates the life story of a master of Kung Fu's many schools of practice and styles, Yip Man, performed with remarkable subtlety by Tony Leung. His adventures, his loves, his family, his remarkable discipline all play against the most beautifully photographed new release I've seen in many years. The visual aspect of this movie is stunning and breathtaking all at once. I went to the screening fearful of a kung fu movie in the Bruce Lee tradition. Right from the start, there it was, a big fight sequence. Spectacular in its complexity, as choreographed by Yun Wo Ping, whose work you may recall from The Matrix or Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yet this was so different with the lavish photography and setting, the rich and accurate historical time recreated, that I was swept away by the majesty of it all. The story is set in a turbulent time in China's history from the late 1920s through the mid 1950s, and I must say, that any advertising and available advanced clips for this film focus on the big fight and action sequences. But do not be misled by the promotion of this film as all action, for in its epic sweep there are many temperaments and paces throughout. There are moments of great calm and beauty, and I found my eyes riveted to the screen along with the preview audience that sat there in rapt attention. Here's a scene to show you just what I mean. Once again, a spectacular fight, but so visually stunning. This scene shows a respected colleague and female love interest of Yip Man, the fierce and beautiful Gong Er, played by Ziyi Zhang, herself a specialist and last in the line of masters of the lethal Bagua 64 hands tradition of Kung Fu. During a turbulent time, her father is murdered by her opponent in this scene, And the time has come to serve revenge and protect the honor of the family. Once again, the entire movie is not in the tempo that you just saw in that scene, but at whichever part of the story, the visual feast is beautifully lit and composed for the widest screen 235 aspect ratio by the French cinematographer Philippe Lousseau, which clearly shows why it took three years to photograph this movie. There are many beautiful, poignant, and tragic moments, too, 
as this hero makes his cycle through life. You see little tributes to great films as well, such as three separate occasions when a seated group gathered becomes a black and white photograph, as Orson Welles had done with the staff of the Enquirer in Citizen Kane. I cannot recommend this film enough and feel that if it does not win the Oscar for Best Cinematography this year, something has gone amiss with a fraternal organization of lensmen that vote on their peers. Whatever you do, do not miss The Grand Master, for it is the best film I've seen in years, and I think you'll agree with me. If only I could, I'd applaud this with 64 hands. This is your pal Matthias Bombell, bidding you a fond farewell. Thank you.